Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know, it's been 11 years since the Radfords first bounced onto our screens on a Channel 4 documentary, 15 Kids and Counting. Mornings in the Radford house are chaos. Welcome to the Radfords. And since then, they haven't been far from our hearts and our minds as every single pregnancy was announced by every major news outlet. Stories of Sue Radford being super mum because she would pop out yet another child, her 16th, then her 17th and even on to her 18th. But even though they were on 18, they still would not claim benefits. So kudos to them. But was there something more sinister afoot with these pregnancies? The feeling that you get obviously when they're just born does make you want to do it all over again, definitely. Yep, she's one of those. She likes the baby phase. So over the next few years, we had all sorts of stuff coming out about how they were amazing yeah, and not. fantastic um, parents and because they had so many kids. Yeah. So they even made appearances on national television such oh, as this morning. Let's ask the Randy old goat himself. <laughs> um, <laughs> will you be stopping? Uh, I think we've both decided actually that yeah, we, we think 20, that's it, we're done. We're I think Eamon Holmes deserves a medal for the questioning well, let's uh, ask the randy old goat himself <laughs> and the nation's love for the radford family continued because they were such a hard-working family and they did it all without handouts don't you know they were incredible they were hard working they had their pie shop and they just made all their own money and kept their own kids clothed and fed you know despite it being their responsibility they were seen as saints even being called super dad super dad now it was Noel and um then it all came crashing down upon their noses when channel 4 unceremoniously let it slip that Noel was five years older than his 13 year old pregnant girlfriend at the time of their first child. 43 year old Sue and 48 year old Noel just can't stop having kids. The same news outlets who had once praised this lovely family soon started to report on this incredible revelation and public perception had already shifted in the way of no one being a dirty, dirty pervert. Tweets such as these ones started to appear. So he first got her pregnant when she was 13 and he was 17 or 18. Disgusting. Also, no way his pie shop can fund all that. I'd have to agree. They are lovely kids, but I can't help but feel a bit weird about the fact when he was 18, he got a 13-year-old pregnant. And finally, so grim that the mum was 13 and the dad 18 when she fell pregnant with their first. Now, just to clarify, he was actually 17 and a half and not 18. That's important for legal reasons, but it also does not exonerate anything that happened after that either. But they continue to make their TV appearances like nothing had happened. But it did kind of sway the questioning. Um, Noel used to live in the cul-de-sac next to me where we lived. And he used to hang around with my brother when we were younger. And we met through my brother. Yeah, now so you had child. your yeah. first baby very, very young. Yeah, we had Chris when I was 14. Right, OK. So, I mean, that, that must have been yeah. quite controversial at the time, I would have thought. But, yeah, yeah, I guess it was, yeah. It, it still wasn't really uncommon yeah. then, mm. but... Uh, Lots of predators on the estate, was there, Sue? Not so uncommon at that time. And he used to hang around with my brother. I wonder if they're still friends now. 
when we were younger and we met through my brother. Not mentioning the fact that you were actually seven years of age when you first met Noel. Seven years of age. That makes him 11 or 12 years of age when uh, he, he met seven-year-old Sue. Who would have thought when seven-year-old Sue first met Noel that uh, in six short years' time they would be together and uh, been impregnated by her 17 and a half year old boyfriend lovely when he turns out sort of age 13 they all do come along and help me in the morning or on a saturday or at weekends or if in an, an evening when i go back mm. well the last time you all came on i don't think chris you as a side note just look how disgusted <laughs> She looks just just look how disgusted she looks. She is actually looking flabbergasted and and flustered by the like the noise in the in the studio. <laughs> now, despite all the furor surrounding this whole situation with Noel being so much older than Sue, they carried on regardless, and Channel Five snapped them up for a brand new series called 22 Kids and Counting. So in February 2021, Channel 5 showing all the morals of a guinea pig at episode 1 of 22 Kids and Counting. From then on, it was full steam ahead on the Radford's money train as headlines from across the globe poured in. Noel Radford left dangling from his roof. Uh, and, you know, it kind of got people excited at the time. It might have been something else he was left dangling by, but no, just uh, hanging off his roof on one of the latest episodes of 22 Kids and Counting. But with this lucrative Channel 5 deal, along with many lucrative social media deals, it meant that they could afford such extravagances with as a £1,000 Valentine's gift from Noel to Sue. She is the luckiest lady on earth. And then a Land Rover worth £30,000 just for turning 46. By now, it seemed like the baby-making machine had turned itself well and truly off. And they were living the luxurious millionaire's lifestyle with a new Range Rover, an outdoor cinema and hot tub. As reported by the national newspapers, obviously, such headline news that is. But the best one, the best of the best and the most moralistic news outlet of the year goes to the sun who would have thought the sun would lack such morals as this super dad noel radford decorates downstairs bathroom for just 200 pound after being quoted four thousand pound by professional painters blah 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 super dad noel radford super dad noel radford listen to the words super dad noel radford Listen to saying <laughs> it's the son saying super dad, Noel Radford. What was their headline just a couple of years earlier? It's creepy. Shock as mum of UK's biggest family fell pregnant at 13 when partner was 18. That's right. That was a son headline when it all came out about Noel. And then they comment a couple of years later, the headline Super dad, Noel Radford. Could you get any more contrasting than that? Obviously, they looked at the original headline when they wrote it as like a throwaway comment because, you know, they, they don't really care that he's 18 and she's 13. No, it's just headline. It's just news reporting. When it comes down to it, they think he's a super dad for knocking her up at 18, 17, 18 when she was 13. I love that title. I, in fact, I'm going to go with that title for this video. Okay? Don't think he's a super dad, by the way. 
But since then, we've had no end of bragging and throwing it in everybody's face just how rich they are because they've been on these TV shows and they've got social media deals out of getting these TV shows. They've spent £25,000 on prams. Can you imagine it? £25,000. Why not keep a couple of prams? You know you're going to get pregnant every single year. Reuse. that. I would have thought that would have been more logical anyway. But doing up their house is important. Going on umpteen holidays to the Maldives for their 30th wedding anniversary. As planned by their kids. They did it all for them except for pay for it obviously. Then they wanted to move to Florida because it would be cheaper I think. And then there was the 11 holidays in the space of a year. 11 holidays. Aren't they such a relatable, hard-working family that would just do everything for their kids? And is it everything for the kids? No, not exactly. They had a big social media bus stop with one of them who um, accused them of being selfish for not taking their grandchildren on uh, <laughs> on holiday to Disney because uh, their kids have been on to Disney before. But they think that they deserve more Disney time <laughs> than everybody else. And so decided to bash them on social media. In fact, he is bashed, they have bashed all their kids, boyfriends, girlfriends, all over social media. It's, it's like they are actually relatable because that happens in real life, doesn't it? Anyway, this video has been to point out the journey we've been on, the hypocrisy we've been on, the absolute insanity it is that Channel 5 firstly took over the franchise of 22 Kids and Counting because they already knew that this whole scandal was out there. They knew what Noel has done. They knew what Noel was. They knew the situation and they went into it it wasn't like they went into it blindfolded. They knew everything about it. And more so, they still know everything about it. And yet they don't give a damn. I feel that, I mean, the, the wrongs of this outweigh the rights, obviously. I'm not saying that Noel should be like arrested or anything like that. But at the very, very least... We shouldn't give him a platform and pay him to be on these platforms for doing what he did. Because essentially, the reason he is earning so much money is because he's had 22 kids. And the reason he's had 22 kids or the reason he gets his deals is because he's got 22 kids. If he'd never got 22 kids, which he wouldn't have got probably from any other the whole reason he's got this whole franchise going is because he essentially groomed and took advantage of a vulnerable 13-year-old child. And that is the long and short of it. So what, whatever you feel like Noel should or shouldn't do or what should happen, is it morally correct to pay for him to have done what he did? basically that is the question you need to ask so i'll leave you with that question until next time please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new please thank you very much and comment everything you want to comment down below because i know you guys love this family and i know you love to tell me all your thoughts thank you again until next time take care of yourselves and bye bye